Hey guys and welcome to the 36th tech tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at a hell of a lot of red power machinery. First of all we have the igniter. Simple, just give it a redstone signal and it'll, it'll make either a fire or if there's a portal it'll light a portal. Now you don't actually need all six of these, I have merely done it for aesthetic. One will light an entire portal or one block on fire. Here is the recipe for an igniter. It's just netherrack, flint steel, deployer, stone, cobblestone even, and redstone. Uh, very cheap to make and it's quite useful I think. Right, now we're looking at some more interesting things in my opinion. First of all we have a transposer. Here is a block breaker, uh, no, that is a deployer. Here's a block breaker and here is a filter. Right, now the filter and transposer work very similar. Basically, if there's a chest next to it, the transposer will take out an item from the chest one by one. And that item will be pumped behind it, it'll either shoot out or go into a pneumatic or redstone tube that is behind it. Here is the recipe for a transposer. Incredibly, incredibly cheap, although you need to keep a, a nice amount of pistons on you to make them a lot in mass amounts. And the, the, the filter is a bit more tricky really. It requires some requires some cobblestone, gold, pistons and well more cobblestone with a red doped wafer. Now this you need an alloy furnace for which I think I may have already showed. There's just eight bricks in the shape of a chest. Then you need redstone, silicon wafers, diamond handsaw, that's well, that's that. <laughs> and the silicon bool is just sand and coal in an alloy furnace. Right, now the filter is different from the transposer because if you... Well, you can't see, but I'm right-clicking and nothing is happening on the transposer. But with the filter, you can right-click and it has this little uh, kind of inventory space. Basically, if you put something in there, it'll take out that exact item per tick in the quantity that's in there. So with this it would take out one ago and with this it would take out a stack ago. You can also give it colour so it goes to a specific chest but I haven't painted any pneumatic tubes yet. So I'll just leave it as blank. Right, now the block de now the deployer, if you give it a redstone signal, it'll put down the one of the blocks in this inventory. <sighs> also if you're wondering how I'm just getting the item instantly it's because if you're on creative mode and you point at a block, middle mouse click, as in your scroll wheel, and press on your scroll wheel, and then you'll get one of the items, see? It's very, very useful. Because now I can show the recipe for a deployer. It's just wood, and that's not wood. That's cobblestone. Cobblestone, chest, piston, and redstone. Right. Uh, now here we have a deployer. No, a block breaker. Oh, for fuck's sake, rain. Every time... Right, can I click on it? Oh yeah, <laughs> the block breaker has no, in has no um interface. Basically, give it a redstone signal and it will break a block that's in front of it. It can do this with obsidian as well. Now here is an item. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's a recipe for this. Um, similar to the rest, just with an iron pick at the top. Right now, here's an interesting one: the item detector. I thought it was part of Railcraft at first, but it turns out it's part of Red Power. This requires a lot of Red Power stuff, including brass, which is just uh, tin and copper smelted in an alloy furnace. Red dirt wafer, we've already seen. Pneumatic tubes, which is brass and glass, and yeah, the rest is pretty much easy to get. Vanilla items. Basically, when you hook this up with two pneumatic tubes, either way, an item will pass through here, it'll give a redstone pulse, and then it'll pass out into a chest. Now you can change how this works, you can make it so that whatever passes through there's no redstone current. Uh, this is also the point of the block breaker. As you can see, no current was made here, the lamp did not light up. If I change it to this mode, which I do believe is every single item that goes through it, it'll pulse once. So, yep, there you go, one pulse. Right, now... Let's chuck a stack of stone into here, because we've got a stack being filtered out. So we'll check a stack of stone, the stack is going through there. Now, as you can see, it goes epileptic, as it's 
doing one for every single block. So it was 64 redstone signals are being passed out of there currently. Now you can change this very annoying mode, which has caused a lot of lag for me, by clicking again, and so you see where well, there's like very minute difference, but there's one kind of little dip in that line. But basically, load up 60, that's another stack of stone, send it through, and there we go, one, only once does it do that. Right, if you're wondering what the rest of the system is, I'm going to wire this up. <laughs> And just show you how you can make an infinite loop, which, t well, you'll see why it's kind of nice when it's, when it starts. Oh yeah, I gotta change. You have to change the mode to this triple one first. Now, as you can see, it pulsed and it made a stack of stone come out. So now, when it pulses again, it makes it go epileptic and another stack comes out, and this is an infinite system. But basically, you can create some lovely disco lights with it. Isn't that nice? And it pretty much lasts until it loops around again. So yeah, you have an infinite system of flashing lights. Right, now, what you could do with the system, I didn't exactly do this, but... Well, I've made a lovely disco room, which I just broke the door to. So, I'm going to wire this up, and I'll be right back. And we're back. It's midnight on the compound, and it's time to boogie down. <laughs> Ah, uh, here is the kind of bright, bright disco I created. Oh, I put torches in here. Silly, silly. Right. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, favorite, comment, subscribe for more. Um, yeah, see you later, guys. Goodbye. Thanks for watching.